Jeremy, thank you. The choirs of the Mountain Empire Children's Choral Academy are getting ready for their spring concert. Our Tennessee Mountain Home. That's happening this Saturday. Concerts feature two original pieces by local composers. Here to tell us about it is the artistic director Jan Morrison, as well as composer Evelyn Persley Kapitsky. Welcome. Well, first of all, just tell us about uh, the performance. Sure. We decided last year that we would really like to feature Tennessee composers this year, and we wrote a grant, and the Tennessee Arts Commission uh, graciously funded that program. And we have a variety. We have uh, composers from East Tennessee, from West Tennessee. We have people who grew up in the area. We have people who grew up somewhere else and made Tennessee their home. There's even a little Dolly Parton on the program. We have oh, everything. Oh, you gotta have it. Oh, we got everything from <laughs> classical to country on this program. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And I understand you're one of the composers. Yes. Talk uh, about your piece that you'll be premiering and just your role in this performance. My role, okay. Well, uh, what, uh, Jane didn't know until this morning is that she was actually instrumental in um, making sure this happened. It was 2020 and uh, of course all the musicians were having a whole lot of downtime and uh, one of those big old long uh, uh, social media threads and she happened to say, well do you have a setting of Jabberwocky? And I'm thinking, <laughs> That's no, random. but that can be <laughs> fixed. <laughs> and so um, I did. This was actually right down my alley because I specialize in music that uh, the musical word is tone poems, but basically what I do is tell musical stories. Okay. And the music itself is supposed to sound like whatever it is the story is okay. and so um, I have discovered that I do very well that way and it's kind of I even have to kind of think when I don't have a story to tell uh, so um, anyway uh, a few weeks later I sent this piece to Jane and she said oh I love it but I don't really have an active choir big enough to do it and, uh, and so now we do. <laughs> we do, and this is and this is truly awesome. Uh, so I had that, and I just wanted to tell you in general uh, what I have written at the top of it. And remember, this was 2020. Yes. Uh, and I said, um, winning the battle against unseen foes, unnamed fears, and unexpected calamities. How about that? That's pretty. That's oh, yeah. that's I mean, pretty this incredible. One, uh, and it, it was just wonderful that way. I uh, do have a setting. This is three part uh, children's choir. I guess uh, Bella Voce, the treble mm -hmm. singers, going to are going to join them. So it's a really big group because it's a big. Uh, it's a big, big piece. piece. And it's about a monster, you know, the Jabberwock. And so it's kind of monstrously difficult. But the kids have had a lot of fun with the unusual language, the Bandersnatch and the Vorpal Blade and things like that. And to give the local composers this voice, this opportunity, what does that mean to you as, as the choir almost grew mm -hmm. into the piece? over yes. the last two years. Well, we've been very fortunate in the Mountain Empire Children's Choral Academy to have relationships with local composers. Another composer whose music we're going to perform was a native of Johnson City, Kenton Coe, who passed away a few years ago. So we're just, we are incredibly fortunate in such a small area of the country to have such talent. It's been great. That's incredible. For the people coming out, I mean, what can they expect to take home from this performance? They'll get a little bit of everything. We even have a Native American piece. And because we're featuring Tennessee composers, I wanted to see how far back we could go. So I found something in a Native indigenous language that the kids are going to be singing and everything. We just got it all. So much going on. We have all the information. Thank you both so much. The spring concert, our Tennessee Mountain Home, that is coming up this Saturday, May 6th at 730 at the Paramount Center for the Arts in Bristol. And we didn't even get to mention auditions, but if you want to audition for the next season with the choirs, that's coming up as well. First is May 15th from 4 to 530 at Muncie Church, and the next will be the 18th at Emory and Henry Chapel, also from 4 to 530. We will be right back.